actually not that long. Um, <clears throat> but I haven't really been in the habit of using acrylic paint. And so I really wanted to get back into that. And I tried like last week, I think. I tried last week to get back into it. Um, and this is how the painting turned out. So I'm not very happy with this, to be honest with you. I think it looks a little bit like, um, looks like a little kid painted it. So we're gonna try to do a lot better on this next one. But if not, who cares? Um, so I'm gonna try and just work off of this. This drawing is a little bit better. Um, on the last painting, I didn't have a drawing, so I just kind of, I just kind of put stuff down and then hoped it worked. Um, which is how I kind of go with gouache, but I guess um, you have to be a little bit more pre-planned with acrylic, I, I, I suppose. Like this. Jeez, I'm stuttering. I'm stuttering all over the place. Um, but we're just gonna go in and try to work on this painting. I hope the lighting is okay. Let me see. I know we might get some shiny stuff because of the um, the lighting, but it should be okay. Also, I have uh, two types of paint. I have this Liquitex paint, which I, I've been trying to use, and then also this So Flat, which I think is supposed to kind of mimic gouache. Um, sorry, hold on a second. Is that better? I'm not sure. I think this is supposed to mimic gouache, but it's, I don't know, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, I'm gonna be using Liquitex, um, Heavy Body, and then also this So Flat stuff. I I had a like an epiphany the other week, or I don't know if it was epiphany or what, but I was just like, you know what I could do? I could start using acrylics. And so in my mind, for some reason, I thought it was gonna be a super easy, just natural, smooth <laughs> transition from gouache to acrylics. But it's definitely very different. Uh, it doesn't feel the same. It feels like, I don't know, it just doesn't lay down flat enough, I feel like. I feel like there's so much, um, there's so much like in the way. It doesn't feel like I'm like directly painting on the canvas, which I feel like gouache gives me that like super control. I feel like acrylic is a little more uh, free flowing, kind of takes it from you. But all right, we're gonna go ahead and try to Get started. We have all the basics. We have red, yellow, green, red, yellow, blue, sorry. And then you have a green and a cerulean blue too. And um, hold on, let me, I gotta zoom in. Uh, this is the reference I'm working from. You guys can't see it super well because of the light, but just a simple, really, really, really simple um, seascape, so. I'm gonna move this over here so I don't keep going in the way. But okay, let's see. I'm gonna start off with, I don't know where I should start off actually. Um, I think with acrylics you work, I guess the sky is kind of the first big thing. With gouache, I feel like I kind of start anywhere. But with this stuff, it feels a little different. Oh, someone also said, someone in my Discord, um, said to start off with, or to start using, where is it at? Yeah, someone said to use um, gesso in your paint. So I'm gonna see if that helps us out any. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you have a little bit of gesso. I don't even know what I'm doing, to be honest with you. I have no clue. Let's see if we can kind of, how am I gonna do this? Okay, there we go. Maybe I should have taped this painting down. That's too light. Yeah, I probably should have taped the painting down. Um, okay, I think still a little too light, at least at the top. I don't even know, should I be wearing a mask while doing this? Is our acrylics? I try to make sure to stay away from like the, the, the cadmium colors and the, anything that had a little toxic symbol next to it. But I'm sure there's still something I probably shouldn't be breathing in. There we go. 
that's not too bad. But yeah, this is very different than gouache. Very, very different. And I'm going to try to leave the clouds alone for now. But yeah, I'm basically starting from nothing. Like, this is how it was with gouache, I guess. Starting from no real knowledge of the, the medium. And hopefully I stick with it. Hopefully I can write out the beginner's part. And I would love to be able to do acrylic painting, so. I guess we gotta start somewhere. Uh, let me see if I can take this a little wider and a little greener as we get towards the bottom. Um, okay, this right here. Maybe I should have bought some, some slow dry medium as well. There's a lot of things I probably should have done uh, before just jumping into acrylic painting, but like maybe I should have watched a video or a tutorial or something. Okay, let's see. Also, does acrylic lighten as it dries or is that not a thing? I know when I'm painting with gouache, that's something I can always count on, is that the paint's not going to be quite the exact same color. But maybe with acrylic it'll be different. It takes quite a lot of white paint, I'm noticing, to have an effect on the value. Hey, Jennifer. I'm doing okay. I'm actually doing pretty good. Pretty good. I'm trying to trying to crack the the uh, the acrylic the acrylic uh, mystery, I guess. It's very different than gouache and watercolor, at least the way that I'm using it. I've seen people use. Um, Acrylic kind of like watercolor, I think, or maybe that was acrylic ink. I'm not sure. Really, does it dry darker? I always thought oil and acrylic sat at the same, but I have no clue, honestly. So I really can't say. Okay, okay, okay. I, I trust you. I trust you. So I have two goals for this, for this, I guess for this live stream and then this painting in general. The first one, <laughs> the first goal is to not quit on this painting and to make it all the way through, regardless of how bad it looks at the end. Um, oh, also if, if some of you guys missed it, um, at, I showed my first acrylic painting or the first one in a while. <laughs> I'm not very proud of it, but um, it's something, it's also like, 60% done. Like, I didn't finish this painting. I kind of gave up. Um, but yeah, this one, we're definitely 100% we're making it through this one. We're making it through this one. I'm calling it now. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to blame you if you're wrong. I mean, I don't care. I feel like it might dry the same color, but I have no clue. Oh, and the second goal... The second goal is to not stutter my way through this live stream. I don't know what it is. Well, I do know what it is, but when I get going on this live stream, I start stuttering up a storm. And that's what we're not gonna do today. We're gonna speak nice and slow, nice and Bob Ross-like, and we're gonna make it through this. <laughs> that's the second goal of this live stream. Okay, this is the hard part of going back into the gradient darker that's kind of a difficult thing getting used to. See, and this is one thing I don't like, is when the, the paint gets thick and like sticky. I'm not a huge fan of that. I don't like that very much. Hey, Wendy. We're making it, yeah, that's one thing I don't really like is the, um, when the paint starts getting like sticky and thick, where you don't have enough of it, I guess. <laughs> I usually, I usually do okay because I can edit them out, but it's the live stream in particular. The live streams get me because 
I start getting excited. I start going talking really quickly. Um, and then I start stuttering like crazy. Also, um, it's happening more in my videos too because I have stopped like writing them down. I, I Sometimes I used to write down the videos, like script them. Um, just to make sure that the video flowed like pretty good. And then I got everything I down that I wanted to say. But recently I haven't been doing that just to like, just to chill out. And it's just the, the, the videos aren't that important. I'm not hitting on anything crazy. So I try to relax a little bit. I just realized I covered up two um, clouds, but that'll be okay. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the, the live streams make me, they don't make me stutter, but they, they definitely aid in my, in my, in my stuttering prowess. Um, this is just straight up acrylic. This is, um, this is acrylic, heavy body acrylic. That also is probably why it's so thick and like sticky when it, when it dries up. Um, and then I'm also using, I'm also using, um, I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen this, so flat. So flat, it's supposed to be like, a, it's acrylic, but I think it's supposed to look like gouache, which is a cool idea. Yeah, I, I primed it with, um, hold on, just some, some gesso. And then I used some yellow paint to mix it in there a little bit. And I don't know if that's the smartest thing uh, to do because, because I think, um, I think that the the yellow is kind of going to come through a lot with gouache it comes through a little bit but gouache is opaque so and you can't really see it that much but acrylic i've noticed is a little less opaque for some reason okay i'm gonna mix up a i'm trying to mix up like a dull a dull green brown sort of color I just wrote my script for the first time. Really? That's that's cool. Um, you know what? I think, Jennifer, I think your style actually would... I think your style actually would work really well for live streams. I think your style of paintings and the style that you... Well, I don't know. Um, do you go back over everything? And I'm not sure how many layers you do and stuff, but... It seems like you paint pretty straightforward and like... Uh, one layer then you have touch-ups and all that kind of stuff but i feel like you would do really good with a live stream okay let's see if this is the right um it's the right color but it's a little too bright i think liquitex gesso is perfect okay good i'm, I'm glad i got the right one then I had no clue what I was doing. I just walked into Michael's and then, um, I just walked into Michael's and then bought everything they had pretty much or everything I thought I would need. Um, they also had a deal going on that was like buy two, get three or something like buy three, get two free. So I got like, um, uh, I think I just bought three paints and they gave me two free and whatever. So. Oh, for the streaming? Jennifer, you, you, you could stream from uh, a phone if you want. That's what I do. Oh, didn't mix it fully. If I could, I would love to live stream from um, a camera that I have, because I'm sure that would be a lot better quality, but I don't even think it would matter that much. I don't think people come to live streams to to be wowed by the, the, the quality. Okay, I messed up. Um, oh, I messed that oh, totally up, okay. The, the water comes all the way down 
here. Oh yeah, you did you did hit a thousand, Jennifer. That's I forgot. You, you did hit a thousand. That's a big milestone, and you got it in like the first year, right? That's actually really good. Um, I might. I hope the new iPad Pro is coming fast. I I know nothing about iPhones at all. Or I iPod, I whatever it is, iPads, iPods. Oh yeah, on that topic too of YouTube, I have to work out something new. I gotta find something new to do. Uh, Cause I don't think YouTube likes the... I was on a little bit of a run there for a second. I was on a little bit of a run. Uh, a couple of the videos did work really good. But I think, I think it's a mix of the, the thumbnails and the, the quote thing worked for a little bit. I got that from, um, I forgot where, but that's like a kind of a thing on YouTube sometimes where people just have like a quote as their title and it like does crazy good. So I thought I'd try that. It worked for a little bit, um, but I don't think it's, I don't know. Cause then you have to get people who are both in the painting and that also care about what that quote says. Ten thousand. Okay. There we go, Jennifer. You got ten thousand. That's crazy. <laughs> ten thousand in a year. Yeah, SEO, I don't know anything about all of that, any of that stuff. I just like making the videos and then hope that people, the people watch them. But I think I'm gonna try something new. I think I'm gonna try something new. So I might take a break from the, the videos for a second. Just to take some time to really, like, I need, I feel like I need this next one to be, um, I feel like I need this next video to really, like, really be a, a banger, so. I might take a break for a bit. Really, then you're gonna have to let me know about some of the SEO stuff. But I also think it's just that, um, there's not that much, I don't think there's that much space in this, um, in this niche. Like, I don't know if there's that many people that are really hounding for a plain air video. Like, you know what I mean? Maybe if I made like art supply videos, but I don't think I'll ever do that to be honest with you. You have to upload it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just don't know how much space there is in this specific niche that I'm in. Or how much how much of a demand there is for this specific You know what I mean. Okay. Um I'm gonna put in the shadow real quick of the cloud and then we're gonna reevaluate what's going on with the painting. I have maybe three fifty subs. I grow slow, but it's no problemo. Wendy, what do you uh Wendy, what kind of paintings do you do? Or what's your what's your channel about? I do know a Wendy that comments a lot, but I don't know if it's you, Wendy. But I'll have to check you out. I'll have to check you out, Wendy. I know I know a Wendy Wells. I know I know that Wendy. But it's hard to remember a lot of people sometimes. We need to go a little bit darker. Yeah, the whole thing about YouTube is difficult. Like the, well, it's difficult if you're in certain kind of, if you're in certain circles, I guess, or certain niches.
Okay, there we go. I also am very proud to announce that the book is complete. The book is 100% finished. Um, and then it should be up May 1st. I haven't done any, any of the promotion stuff for it yet. Like, um, like I haven't uh, made a video about it, like uh, anything like that, but the book is complete. And it's going to be uploaded. It's going to be up for purchase on May 1st. I'm actually so proud. Um, I don't quite feel like I, I fit the book anymore. Like, as much as when I started writing it, the, the topic and the, the theme and everything like that, but I'm still very, very, very proud that it's done. Um, watercolor, gouache, simple acrylic, simple paintings, difficult botanical art. Oh, okay, that's what you do, Wendy. Folk art, not many do, so I have a little edge. Jennifer, oh. Oh, sick. Oh, sick. That's sick you guys are subscribing to each other. Yeah, I know. We got to make a video. I got to get the video. I'm so happy that it's it's done. Thanks, 10 by 10. Is that um? Is that an MF Doom profile picture? Or not MF Doom. He did it. What's, what's the name of that anime? Um, I have no clue. But yeah, it took such a suck of... Oh, here we go. Here we go with the stuttering. Here we go. Here we go with the stuttering. It took such a long time to get the book going. And... Um, I don't know, it just feels good to be like on the last, the actual last. Um, it's an old anime called Great Teacher. Oh, okay. But I did see, um, there is an MF Doom music video or somebody took a music video or something, did an AMV to it, whatever. <laughs> I remember, do you remember AMVs, dude? Anime music video. Okay, this is where we're gonna get kind of... See, I don't know, is is acrylic... Can you do the whole gouache thing with acrylic where you go, where you paint messy at first and then refine later? Because that's my whole thing. If I can't do that, then I don't know what I am gonna do. I'm gonna try and then we'll see. Okay, okay. Because that's my whole thing. If I can't do that, then I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, you're starting a sticker shop. I'm starting a sticker shop on Etsy. Come first week in April. I'm so proud of. There we go. Are you making them yourself? Are you doing print on demand? Or I, I, I tried. Hey, 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 Jan. Hey, John, Jan. Jan, Jan. I think it's Jan. I'm going to go on and guess his name's Jan. Um, are you doing print on demand, Jennifer? Or are you doing um, self made like the cricket stuff? Thank you. I'm trying to work through it. Trying to work through acrylics. I have no clue what I'm doing. So, wish me luck. Oh yeah, like I was saying, I I I tried the whole print stuff and the sticker stuff and. Oh, you're making okay. That's cool. You're making it at home. That's cool. Yes, you can traditional gouache underpaint light wash and layering. Wait, what? Did I miss something? Oh, okay, okay. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Traditional gouache underpaint light wash. Light wash. Okay. Okay, I understand. I understand. I missed something for a second. Okay, you got the cricket. There we go. Poster paints are quite a lot of fun if you get the chance to use them. Or even Hemi paints, kind of. I've used Hemi. I've used. I love Hemi paints. Um, I've never tried poster paint though. It's just the same as like gouache, right? I never knew that. I never. Or is it like tempera? I never knew the the difference, honestly. I thought it was just like a cooler packaging. Um, have I ever tried casein? No. No, casein's pretty expensive. Casein's like weirdly expensive. I don't know what it is. 
Yeah, it's that, it's that milk protein paint, the milk. Like, um, if any of you guys are into, like, I don't know, bodybuilding or anything like that, or, like, weightlifting, um, you know there's, like, casein protein powder, I think. And it's just, like, milk, I think. <laughs> so, yeah, I think casein paint is the same stuff, pretty much. Not the same stuff, of course, but... I think it's also milk, too. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. Post to paints dry really quickly. I've n I never... Maybe I should try that. Maybe I should try poster paints. Are they cheaper or are they... I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about a whole lot, to be honest with you. I know just enough about the stuff I care about, and then... Everything else I don't really know that much about. Really? It's more opaque? Okay, that actually sounds kind of cool. Honestly, gouache is pretty opaque by itself. I think gouache is probably the most opaque thing I've ever worked with. It's definitely more acrylic. It's definitely more. Hold on, let me let me slow down. Let me slow down. It is definitely more opaque than this acrylic paint. All right, Jennifer. See you later. See you later. Good luck with the video. They are cheaper. A lot of animators in the 90s used them because they're quick drying in. Oh, yeah, I've heard about um, Studio... Studio... I'm going to butcher them. Studio Ghibli. Ghibli. I, uh, didn't they use something like that? Yeah, I've heard, I've heard it's pretty cool. And it's like... Um, they don't have very much light fastness because they're not meant to be... Like, used uh, for fine art, but... Yeah, I've never really used them. I haven't used poster paints. I've only, I've used oil once um, for a self-portrait that I never finished. I still have it though. It's, it's actually hanging, actually, you know what's funny? The one thing that I have hanging on my wall, the one piece of my art that I have hanging on the wall, yeah, literally the only one, is an unfinished oil portrait of myself, <laughs> which, I don't know. Maybe I should have just finished it. But yeah, that's the one piece of art that I have of myself. Or that's one that's that's the one piece of art I have that I've made hanging up in my room. You guys wanna see it? Maybe I should just show it to you guys real quick. Also, you know what else I'm having a hard time with? Getting like a pure white on this paint. Getting a pure white. Let me I guess that's a little more close to white. I'm definitely not a big self-portrait guy. I don't have a lot of, I haven't painted a lot of self-portraits. Okay, I missed a couple of them. Oh, he used water and soft pastel. That's a pretty cool mix. I don't think I've ever seen that. That's kind of cool. Um, artist gouache is light fast. Artist gouache is light fast. And poster paint, they used bigger partic bigger particle pigment, not light fast because it's used for scanning. I didn't know artist gouache was light fast. I thought all gouache was kind of pretty bad under light. Just because of the fact that you're mixing water with it. You know what I mean? I thought that's how they were, but maybe not. That's pretty cool. Okay, let me let me let me go get the painting. Hold on. So I'm about to show you guys the only piece of art that's hanging up in my room that I've made. All the rest of it, um, all the rest of my art is somewhere hidden in a box or something. But this is the one piece of art that I have hanging up in my room. Let me see if I can zoom out. How do I zoom? Um, okay, there we go. That's the, this is the one, the only one. 
it's still a little sticky. Uh, this was what, 2020, 2019 maybe? Let me see, I can check. No date, no date, no nothing. I think it's a pretty cool idea. I just never, I just never liked, like, um, yeah, I just didn't like it. I don't know. Something about the brush strokes kind of made me frustrated. and The colors weren't really going the way I wanted them to. Oh, no, this is from a picture. Um, oh, my God. I have... <laughs> we could really do this right now. We could really do this. Um, man, we could really go through all of my old self-portraits. Maybe we should. That would be fun. Just give me, I gotta, just give me a second to work on this a little bit. That could be really fun if we just went through my old self-portraits. I think I have all of them, honestly, from when I was like a little kid, too. Well, I only have a couple from a little kid. I think. Just a couple nice thing about acrylic gouache is you can thin it down almost to watercolor yeah i really like that the only thing about that though is um i feel like, like i feel like with these paintings these acrylic paintings i don't want to get too attached to acrylic paintings um because because ideally i would like to sell my acrylic paintings um yeah so i don't want to get too attached to them um and I feel like when you really start like spending like a couple hours on a painting and you're really like there with it and you're mixing the water, I feel like that's going to be a little too much. And I, and I might want to keep it, honestly. So I'm going to not do that. I'm going to not use acrylic gouache, even though I know it would be, it would be sick. Um, you should do a video. Oh, on the, yeah, the self-portraits. That would be funny. Maybe I'll do that in like 30 years when my art's actually like, oh, snap level, you know what I mean? I feel like right now my art is definitely on the like, um, like that's my art friend kind of level. Like nothing, you're not going to be blown away, but you're like, oh yeah, that's pretty cool. That's, that's actually kind of cool. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be at that level right now. But in like 30 years when my art's on that, like, oh, snap. Is this AI? When I'm on that level, then I'll start posting them. I'll start doing the artist progression stuff. <laughs> yeah, I definitely paint a lot. A lot more than, um, a lot. yeah, I paint, I paint quite a bit for sure. Go to sleep, it is here in, oh, in the Netherlands. 12 o'clock in the night. All right, Wendy, good night. It was, it was good seeing you on the stream. The Netherlands. I wonder what it's like in the Netherlands. Okay, so the also the hard part about this is trying to keep my style um, in this painting. Or when, when switching over to acrylics. Because I feel like a lot of my style is outlines in ultramarine blue. And like simple stuff. I don't want it to get too, I don't want to just fall into like just painting a picture kind of thing. I want it to still be my, my thing. So in saying that, I think I should probably change the whole sea color to closer to ultramarine. I see you, Wendy. How long have you been? Oh, only 30 minutes. Okay. Hey, Gene. Uh, what made you want to try acrylics? Well, I had the idea of selling my art. And I wanted something to be permanent for people. Um, and yeah, I feel like I really like wash, but it's not light fast at all. And it also doesn't really have like a lot of like, I think it's not a very quick medium. So yeah, I think for the first time ever, I'm trying to delve into that like 
the artist artist life you know what i mean like galleries and stuff like that so i would like to learn how to paint with acrylics so i can kind of do that a little bit of that but i'm a very beginner so don't judge don't, don't judge don't judge i'm very self-conscious about this painting already It's not terrible. Honestly, it's not bad, but it's just such a weird jump. I feel like, you know what I almost feel like? It's feel like it's like, um, I feel like it's like, sometimes you'll hear, you'll hear people speak in, a, in like their not native language and they don't sound that like, they just sound like average people or they sound like just, I, I'm not going to say that they don't sound smart, but when someone speaks in their non-native language, it's like, um, they're not going to be like them full, their full selves. They're not going to have all their personality. They're not going to have all their whatever. They're going to speak very basic. And I feel like I'm doing the same thing. Like, oh, but what I was going to say is like, okay, so let's say like a Russian person speaks English. They might be able to speak English, but they probably aren't going to be, you're not going to be able to have like their full personality in English. I hope this makes sense. Um, but then when they speak Russian, if you heard them speak Russian and it was translated, you'd be like, oh, okay. This is like a real person with like, a complex personality. This is such a weird... Such a, why did I go into this? I feel like the same thing is happening now, where um, I feel like I can paint with acrylics, like, sort of, but you're not going to get, like, my full style out of acrylics because I don't know what I'm doing with them yet. That was a long-winded... I don't even know why I went into that. Um, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. If you ever need inspiration for painting, watch a show called Landscape Artist of the Year. I see those recommended to me all the time. The, the Portrait Artist of the Year, the Landscape Artist of the Year. I just never watched them. Are they good? Is it a good show? Um, always gives me inspiration. Okay, I might have to watch them. I'm thinking of Ink Master, honestly. My brother showed me Ink Master, and now I'm like... That's one of the shows I really like for art inspiration. Um, oh, but have you ever tried those varnishing techniques for gouache? Hmm. Have I ever varnished? I've... I've spray-painted my gouache with, like, some sort of varnishing thing, but... Um, I still wouldn't trust it, to be honest with you. I still wouldn't trust it. Yes, new paint equals new language. <laughs> but yes, all that for that one little... Yes. New paint, new language. Um, can't get enough of it. Just finished it. Just finished a new landscape one from this year, season 10. And I think Ink Master is great too. Are the people on that show actually like, are they like master level or are they just like, are they like master level painters where I'm not even going to feel like relatable to them? But Because in Ink Master, some of the people that paint, or some of the people that are on Ink Master are just like, they're like just decent. It's like they're not, some of them aren't crazy. Like, I don't know. Some of the people on Ink Master, you, you can be like, okay, I feel like if I spent 10 years doing this, I could probably be there. I'm not going to lie. I'm not that happy with this painting so far. But you know what? We're going to keep a nice, happy attitude. <laughs> we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna keep painting. And we're going to see what happens. Um... So some people on it are a part of art societies and well-known, but some of them are just amateurs who paint well. Okay. I didn't even know there was art. What is it, what, what's an art society? It sounds a little scary, to be honest with you. Am I part of an art society? And I just didn't know. Okay, I'm going to add some gesso. Um... Can one get the same thing just by adding matte? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can one get the same thing by just adding matte medium to acrylic? You get so much more paint for the money with acrylics. Oh, you're saying with the with the so flat thing, this? Like, um, could I just add a matte medium to this and make it this? I have no clue. I think I have no clue. I could make something up. I could make an answer up, but I have no idea. 
That would be, I would like to know actually, that would be, I have no clue. This is like my second time painting with acrylics, ever. Well, okay, let me go, th oh, I got a bunch of red paint in my finger. Um, I do wanna show you guys some more of my old paintings because I think they're so funny. I love looking at my old paintings, they're really hilarious. Um, I'm gonna go grab two real quick, maybe three, real quick, and I'm gonna show you guys my old acrylics. Okay, Art Society is a group of artists who promote, um, promote as a group and help each other. So if you joined a gouache one unit area, you would be, really, I never heard of an Art Society. Maybe I have to, I've heard of like art clubs and stuff like that, but I've never heard of an Art Society. Okay, let's go. Look, these are some of my old acrylic paintings. Um, there's this beauty. Wow, look at that. Wow, look at the, look at the perspective. Look at the perspective. Just absolutely perfect. And then we have, we have this one. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Look at that. Just absolutely amazing. Isn't that just something to look at every day of your life? Wouldn't you want to just have wouldn't you want to just have this hanging up in your room? Isn't that just something so cool? <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, and then this is the last one that I got so far. This one actually isn't bad, but it's cracking at the, like, it's, it's falling apart. It looks like it's like a hundred years old, but I painted it like three years ago. So there's that. Yes. <laughs> yes, look at this just every single day. Just have that, maybe I should hang this up. I do kind of like the colors. Um, these are, I wish I had the date. I wish I had the date. Um, I think maybe 2021. Oh, here we go. I'm sorry. I started to yell at you guys. Um, January 4th, 2021. So they're what? Three years old? Four? What is it? Three? So there you go. That's the absolute beauty that was my mind when I was, what was I? 18 years old. The thing was, is that um, when I was in, I could have gone to art school, but I just knew I was just too good. <laughs> I just knew that I was just, with those paintings that I was making, I just knew there was no point. Um, I, we, we have come a long way. We have come a long way. A lot of that, though, was also just playing off what I, like, my strong points. Um, like, if you notice... I almost never paint that. I pretty much never paint that big anymore. So, but yeah, definitely, definitely came a long way. Okay, we're gonna try and, these mountains back here are really, really light, really pale, and they're pretty blue too, so I wanna, this is gonna be pretty difficult. I've never been strong with painting mountains. Okay, let's see if we can kind of match that color. Um, not bad. The color's right. I think the value's a little off. Um. With the skull, did you paint from still life? No, I painted from a terrible drawing that I drew. That's what I painted from. Now, I'd never been much of a still life guy. I mean, I've done a couple here and there. Um, well, I guess planar is kind of still life, so never mind. Let me take that back. Yeah, that was from a drawing, which the drawing actually looked better than the painting. The drawing looked better than the painting. I'll say that.
Okay, I take it back. I, I'm I'm very much a, a still life guy. I take it back. <laughs> I really would love to get more into um, painting portraits from life. That's I would really love to do that. I don't know, even if they're just like not real portraits, but they're just like people, quick quick faces. Um, I saw this this James Gurney. Um, I don't know what it was, something on Pinterest, like a graphic he made of like how to draw quick faces if you really only get like a couple seconds off them. And I think I would love to like try that method, which is, um, I should probably show it to you guys, but I don't know. I think you would really enjoy Portrait and Landscape Artist of the Year because you do a lot of plein air. Um, the only thing is though, I feel like there's a chance I'd probably be jealous of a lot of them because I know that like, I don't know. I feel like I can very well see my, my limitations. But I'll see. Maybe I'll watch it. I might watch it. Do you have any life drawing clubs? I have one that's not that far away. But I have never gone to it. The color in your brush is a great color. This is It is kind of cool. I'm going to have to readjust some stuff because it's definitely too dark, I think. I'm sorry, Christina. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to do it. I had to, I had to do it. <laughs> yeah, true, true. It I guess so. I think it could make you work harder. Um but I feel like I like to see people who are like just out of reach. I like I like that. I like that kind of like um That's why I feel like I'm I'm I feel good about putting my art my art out there. Cuz I feel like for a lot of people my art is like Either you're already past it or it's like right there. I I feel like either we're on the same level or you're like right there. And I think that's a good thing to have on the internet. It's not just a bunch of people that are like absolute masters. And just like hobbyists and people who are like decent at what they do. Even James Gurney, like the kind of stuff he puts on his YouTube is like crazy. But like if he if he showed himself like doing like his full artworks, I don't even know if I could take that to be honest with you. I don't even know if I could watch. <laughs> like, um if he showed like his like oil paintings or the stuff that he like really puts like the stuff that he sinks like hours of his life into, I don't know if I would be able to relate to it. Each episode is nine people. Okay, let's see. Nine people who fight for one spot on the semifinal. Some aren't masters and straight out of school. Sixteen. Really? Really? Sixteen? Um, yeah, type. Yeah, not the type of reach like seeing a random eating. Seeing a random eating a delicious burger and can't take it from them. What? <laughs> Christina, what? <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, we're talking about Portrait Artist of the Year. I've never watched it. This is actually just so frustrating, not gonna lie. Because I don't know where the end is. Like, I don't know how much time it's gonna take for me to finish this painting. At least with gouache, I have, like, a reasonable expectation. <laughs> it's okay, Christina. I just, that ref, the, the, the comparison was just, it caught me off guard for a second. Um, it's probably, the largest painting I've done is probably that, that skull painting I just showed you guys. Probably, like, I don't know, how big is it? Where did that other painting go? I have no idea where I put that portrait of myself. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to find that later. I have no idea. I think I might, I don't know where I put that. I don't know, probably like an 18 by 24 or something like that. Very, still small. I, I don't like painting big, honestly. I don't think it really helps anything. At least for my style and for my uh, crutches that I use.
Yeah, I feel a little self-conscious about this painting because it kind of looks like a um, like the kind of thing you would find at like a. Um, if, have you guys ever seen like paint with a sip or um, not paint with a sip, um, paint with a twist? This like looks like that. Like, ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. But we're gonna get better. We're gonna keep painting. Maybe if I did this plain air, it would be a little cooler. But yeah, I'm not. I'm not uber impressed with uh, this painting or the style or anything about it. To be honest with you. Like honestly, even this is kind of a big painting for me. Because I really like to work in the A6 sketchbook. I, I that's my like go-to. I love that. Um I spent a whole twelve dollars on a twenty-four. 24 by 36 canvas. I'm so scared to start and potentially waste that money. I'll give you your $12 back if that's, if that's what you're worried about. I'll toss you your $12 back. Just go, just go uh, paint on it. Just have fun. Okay, here we go. Uh, make more content on the mountains. Okay, so what we're going to do with the mountains. They are really far back. So what I'm thinking we, what we could do is we could frame... The painting like we could kind of have like um trees coming up the side or one of the sides something like that um to put like that in the front and then have the mountains be in the back i'm not sure if that's what we're gonna do but that's an idea that we could do yeah it's so i don't like acrylics i'm not gonna lie i don't like acrylics They just feel so sticky. Like it feels like I'm painting with like toothpaste or something. Okay, we're gonna. Okay, thank you guys for the tips. We're gonna. We're gonna try and attack this painting and make it look a little better. Is toothpaste plastic based too? Is that is that what you're saying? Am I learning something I didn't know? Okay. You could even change the lighting to something like a dramatic sunset with a pink. Okay, I think <laughs> I love you guys, but this is way above my skill level. <laughs> This is way above my skill level. I don't know if I could change anything, but we're we're gonna we're definitely gonna um, do more to the mountains and stuff. This is just like our first pass. Oh, the binder's plastic. Yeah, well, yeah, that's the whole. Yeah, that's why they call it acrylics, right? Because the binder is plastic. It actually changed. Yeah, actually, that I don't. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Yeah, I'm used to like gouache like dissolving. I like that. I like that kind of feel. I like how gouache like dissolves. I like that. Okay, let's go and let's see what we can do with the paint with the, the mountains. Okay, let's see what we can do. So there's a lot of shadows on the mountains, and they're. Even though the shadows are still pretty, like, pale. Okay, let's see what we can do. I'm trying to mix a dull green, like, bluish. I think that's all right. Maybe. We'll see. Also, it's really hard to get, like, thin lines. At least for me, it's really hard to get like thin. I think now gouache is getting more widely used because of YouTube and stuff. That's how I learned about it. I would have no clue about gouache. 
the only paints I'd ever used up until then, up until like YouTube and stuff, was um, I used acrylic back in like third grade. And then I used watercolor in like some sketchbooks when I was a little kid. But other than that, like, I didn't know much about painting. Visual development helped gouache before it become more known. For acrylics, I've always had... Okay, hold on. My mind is open. For acrylic, I have always... I always have a spray brush with me so I can keep the canvas wet. It keeps the tech it is. Really? Do I have a spray bottle? Get a smaller brush. You know what? Um, I think gouache is kind of between watercolor and acrylic. Yeah, it is. It is. Except... I think it's more like watercolor for sure than it's like acrylic because it's very like it like dissolves i love the, the fact it dissolves um noob friendly okay oils are expensive in comparison i have never even looked at oils that's why that's how out of it i am i don't think i've even looked at oils Okay, so I'm gonna put down the darkest shadow value and then we're gonna go in. Oh. Okay, my hands are getting sticky. Oh no. Okay, this is actually very difficult. P people make it look so easy on YouTube. Okay, did you say a spray bottle helps? Because I might have to go ahead and spray this painting. It might ruin it, but I don't like how tacky this is. Um, is it is acrylic gouache? Is a is does it still dissolve? I don't know why I keep sticking on this dissolve point, but that's the whole thing I like about gouache is that it kind of dissolves. You can get a really flat. Okay, I'm gonna lean it, lean into my style a little bit. Then we're gonna do some outlines and stuff. Okay, let's make sure it's a fine spray. Okay, here we go. I'm putting all my trust in you, Christina. If you're if you're wrong, <laughs> Christina, if you're wrong. <laughs> okay, here we go. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Is that how it's supposed to look? We're gonna go, this is just the first layer anyways. <laughs> yeah, give me, give, give me back my, give me back my $12. I need my $12 back now. And now I need to buy a canvas. Um, Nathan Folk, I've heard, I definitely have heard of him. He uses gouache and watercolor with, worth looking at his old work. I've definitely seen his stuff pop up on Pinterest like a lot. Um, when I look at like the kind of stuff I wanna make for plain air, his work definitely pops up a lot. You know what? I'm just gonna get in like a little bit of flow state. I'm, I'm not even gonna worry about um, painting like an oil painter. I'm gonna paint like, like CD. Or you guys are about to find out my name when I post my book. So that, I guess I guess that'll, that'll be fun. Um, if you watch any DreamWorks movies in the '90s or early 2000s, that's his. Oh, oh, you know what? I okay. I do know. Okay, now I do know for sure. Um, this movie called Spirit. Have you guys ever seen that? Spirit, Stallion of the Cimarron. I used to love, I still love that movie. I love Spirit, Stallion of the, Stallion, Spirit, Stallion of the Cimarron. And I, I looked it up the other day, or not, it was a while ago. But I realized that is his art. Yeah, that's crazy. I love that movie. I love that movie so much. 
Yeah, with the one with 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 the little the little horsey. He was sick though. He was like the best protagonist I'd seen in a while. <laughs> that movie was more profound than I think I even I even thought it was back then. I don't even know what I'm doing, to be honest with you. I have no clue. I'm going to stop being scared. I'm just going to paint, um, however. I'm going to paint the same way I paint with gouache and just have fun. And just go bit by bit. Now, I don't know, am I gonna paint this all today? I started what? Okay, we've been painting for an hour. See, ideally I wouldn't spend an hour on this painting. Ideally this would be done like in, well, I guess an hour, yeah. But not like more than an hour. Yeah, Spirit was so good. The only thing that was a little off-putting about Spirit is that it was, like, semi-3D. I don't even know how to explain it. But the movie was kind of strange. It was, like, almost 3D, almost not. And then the background was, like, painted. But I remember I love that movie. I still have it. I have it on DVD, I think. I think I still have it on DVD. Was he also um, on Treasure Planet? Maybe he was on, did he, was, he, was he on Treasure Planet? Um, it was the in-between of traditional art being phased out. There's this old um, movie that I know James Gurney worked on, apparently, called Fire and Ice, or I don't know if it was a show or a TV show or a movie or what. But that looks pretty cool. That that background was kind of cool. You could tell that they um not like trace, but you could tell that they definitely like heavily use like human video references for their characters. So it looks a little strange, but I think that that show is still kind of cool. Or movie is cool. Is it a show or is it a movie? Um from the books I have of his, I don't see any Treasure Planet work, but he may have. I'm trying to go through all the early 2000s movie I, I remember. Oh, it's called Rotary, Rotary Anime. Okay. Thank you. You learn you learn something new every day. Rotary Animation. Yeah, like the movements like look really cool. They almost look a little too realistic, honestly. Prince of Egypt. Um, I know the guy's face, but I've never seen that movie. The guy that kind of looks like Flynn Rider from Tangled. Right, but he's like um, Egyptian. I can imagine his face. I just don't. I've never seen the movie, or the yeah movie. An actor does a scene and then they draw you over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what it looks like. That's what it looks exactly like. Because the movements are almost like too smooth. But I guess if you're making a movie, you can't. I'm not gonna have someone animate every single frame of something with no reference. And I doubt, I doubt people even notice. I doubt people even care. You see, this layering stuff is where it gets tedious and where I'm gonna start getting tired. And I feel like you can't even see a difference, honestly. All that layering, you still can't really see a big difference.
Okay, maybe I need to let it dry for a second. Hey, Danny. No. <laughs> no, I'm not a fan. Um, casein. No, someone asked that earlier. No, I don't. I've never tried casein. But I have heard of casein protein powder, so that counts for something. Yeah, it is expensive though, right? Isn't it crazy? I don't know why casein is so expensive. I don't know why it's so expensive, but um, I'm not that interested in it, honestly, because I feel like it's gonna be the same thing as acrylic wash. Loving Vincent. Um, I feel like I've seen clips from it, maybe. Is that the movie about Vincent Van Gogh? Um, I've never seen it. Maybe I should watch it. Is it free or is it? let me see. Let me... Hold on a second. I just want to see if I can see that movie tonight. Um, loving Vincent. I have never seen this. I might have to watch that. Um, All right, 10 by 10, see you later. I appreciate you sticking around. You've been here since literally like the beginning. See you 10 by 10. Um, you heard of it? Okay, so Christina's heard of it. Hey, Blue. Really? It smells like Cinnamon Toast Crunch? You know what? Also, um, I, I was used to be really into 3D printing. Um, I'm sure I had a couple of videos about it. But when, when 3D prints burn, they actually smell really good. Like, <laughs> I don't know why. The, I know I should be smell. I know I should be breathing it in. But when, when 3D prints start burning and they, like, mess up, it smells like sugar, like, like syrup. It smells really good. But it's also, like, probably, like, doing terrible things to my lungs. But why do they make it smell so good? Okay, we're going to go back in. And I also, I, I want to kind of veer off from the reference. So I don't think the reference knows what I want, knows knows me best, so. <laughs> Your brain survival mechanism is off. No, no, trust me, trust me, trust me. If you, if you smelled it, you'd be like, dude, that kind of smells good. You would be on, Christina, if you smelled it, you'd be on the same page. Yeah, it's literally like burning plastic, but they make it smell so good. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, if you smell that, you'd be like, dude, that's kind of good. <laughs> but yeah, I haven't really been much into um, 3D printing. I kind of got, I feel a little like disillusioned with it, I guess the word is. Like, just the idea of like making so much plastic kind of has been getting in my head. So I don't know. I don't know when I'll get back into that. I'm sure I, I really wanted to start like a, um, I really wanted to do this thing where I was making um, the, the Altoids palettes like fully complete with paint and everything for people and then selling them. Um, I think I still might do that, but I've been kind of, I'm not sure. I, I just don't want to be that guy that's making 10,000 things of plastic and then whatever, dumping them in the trash. But who knows? I might, I might, I might still go ahead and do it. Cause I do think that would be pretty cool. Thank you. Yeah, we're 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 veering off of the of the reference. You know what? We're we're not, we're not gonna follow this reference. Isn't gonna tell us what to do. Also, Danny, if Danny, Danny, if you're still here, um. There's this guy on YouTube named um, Antonio Cabrera, I think. His videos are actually really cool. I'm not sure, Danny. I'm not sure if you if you've seen his stuff yet, but he's he's in he's in our same space. It's really really cool. But yeah, he 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 had this video the other day. I think it was today maybe. About not not knowing how to draw, and I really feel that. 
I guess sometimes I feel like I don't even know how to draw. But yeah, he was talking about like uh, drawing versus rendering and stuff. It's pretty cool. If you guys don't follow him already, you guys should look up um, Antonio Antonio Cabrera. He posts a lot more than I do. I'll tell you that. Just sell the Altoids for a budget separately in a bag. <laughs> Just like in a little baggie, like a white little dude. I'm, yeah, right. That'll get stopped by UPS like quick. <laughs> That's funny. Got a little baggie of of Altoids. Yeah, yeah. I don't want. I don't want to be on the hook for that. Yeah, but he's talking about like not even from observation, like just drawing from like. Um. Like I don't really know how to draw anything unless I have a picture of it right in front of me, or unless I can like see it directly in front of me. I don't really know how to draw a lot of things. Let's zoom out a little bit. Or scroll up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make sure they know. Or th I'm, I'm all good. It's just Altoids. No, but um, you can buy the Altoids tins um, separate. Not, they're not Altoids. They're not Altoids brand, but they're the same thing. I know the dude's killing it. I don't know how in the world this dude paints that much. I don't know, but that's really cool. He does. He makes really cool videos, and I, I like I like his style too. It's not it's not like uh, everybody else's stuff. Very very different. But that's one of the things that I think about. Like when I gotta take a break from YouTube, like I can't I can't just like when I see people that like are in the same space and they just absolutely blow it out of the water. Like I, I gotta take a little break and I gotta I gotta re reevaluate what I'm doing. But his stuff is really, really, really cool. Okay, this looks a little better. I like, the, I like the darker sky. And I think I'm gonna work with some outlines too. Even though that's not really an acrylic thing. Oh no, Gene, all of us, we, we all have, we, we all have that, that crutch, I feel like. Unless you're literally like, um, I don't know, unless you're literally like absolutely insane. I think most artists use references nowadays. Even back then. You know what? People give people give modern artists, I don't know, I feel like they talk about the masters as if they're like impenetrable. But they were doing like straight up tracing. Sometimes they were, some of them, I think, were doing absolute straight up tracing, which there's nothing wrong with it, but at least at least give us some credit i think some of the some of the masters were doing like straight up actual credit or actual um actual tracing like literal like from like a mirror um i think doing a lot of studies to get that subconsciously in your mind yeah i think that would help i think that would help because i don't i only draw really like I doodle occasionally for myself, but most of my art is for videos and stuff, or streams or whatever, or like a video I'm planning a, a week ahead. I've dramatically stopped watching other people in my in the space because it gets hard not to copy other people. I mostly watch just two or three creators. Yeah, I try. I really try not to focus too much on what other people are doing. Not necessarily because I don't want to copy, but because I don't want to, um... I don't want to feel like we're competition, you know, we're definitely not. I don't want to be like... Um, I don't, I don't want to be like, Oh, dude, see what Danny's doing? <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta get on that. I gotta get on that next. So, I don't know. I don't watch a lot of art YouTube anyways. I watch a lot of, like, other stuff that has nothing to do with art. Um... Who whose last name? Um, oh yeah, tracing is a verified. Yeah, there we go. Tracing is a verified practice. Absolutely. Um, how do you spell the last name? Um, I th Antonio Cabrera. I think it's. Um, I don't know. Maybe just try doing voice to speech. Maybe maybe, maybe that'll work. Cabre Cabrero Cabrera. I'm not sure, but the guy's killing it. I'll tell you that.
Yeah, it's so easy to compare, especially with social media. It's so easy. So easy. That's why TikTok, I don't even, I don't do TikTok. I do it for my own videos, and I, when I post, I I spend a little time there replying to stuff, but TikTok is like the ultimate, like, self, self-deprecation self zone. Because not only are you going to see people that are, like, better than you at art, they're also, like, 10 years old. Well, not 10, maybe not 10, but they're also, like, they're also, like, in college. I don't know. They're, like, it's just crazy. Yeah, I don't watch too much on TikTok. On a sculpture. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I saw that you're working on a deer. Is that, um, was it a, is, is that a, a maquette for a painting? Well, let me finish reading for it before I ask questions. Um... A bunch of sculptures on YouTube and ended up feeling like a total failure. I realized it was because I saw these Apex Predators all week. It looked good, though. I'll say that. It looked good. It looked really good. It Was it, was it a maquette for a, a, a painting? I, liked it. I was pretty impressed. I thought it looked kind of cool. Because I, I should show you some of, some of my sculptures if you, if you want to feel really good. I'll show you some of them. I'll show you some of mine, and then it'll boost your confidence, Danny. Because my sculptures are absolutely horrendous. Okay, let's see. I don't know if this is my style. I don't know if I feel like this is my style. No, I think I should. Oh, I don't know if I have any in my in my room. Oh no, I wait. Oh, let's see. I got rid of so much of my stuff that now I don't know where any of my stuff is. Um, let me think. Do I have it in my room? I might hold on. Let me. I'm gonna check real quick. I'm gonna see if I have it. This is for all you guys in the in the in the stream. This is for all you guys in the stream that think um, that you guys are bad at sculpting. Here we go. This is this is my one and only child. This is my one, my one. And, well, I, I think I have a couple more, but honestly, though, for lighting references, not terrible. For lighting, not bad. But honestly, like, um, he had he had a little bit of issue when he was born. That kind of messed up. So this is this is let's just let's just have him sit right here. Oh, it's a maquette I've stalled on landscape painting. That would be sick. That would be really cool to have a deer in your painting. I could make it a way more interesting. Finding a good reference was tough. That's really cool. Um All right, Gene, see you later. I appreciate you for stopping by, Gene. I'm working on painting it now, also with acrylics, totally different than gouache. Yeah, I think gouache is just more, like, it feels like I'm more in the game. Like, this kind of feels like, eh, brush stroke goes here, yeah, it goes there, whatever, close enough. With gouache, it feels like I'm, like, really in the game. I don't know what, I don't know how else to explain it. But it feels like I'm in the game, that's what, that's what I'll say. Like, I'm EA Sports in the game. Nope, that's two. Yeah, something about acrylics feels more like... It feels more like painting, but gouache feels more like illustrating, I guess. That's the way to go. That's the, how to put it. But I like, I like illustrating. I like the, the feel of, like, outlines and... <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> oh. No, you guys are joking. You guys are joking. <laughs> you guys are joking. This is like the saddest young man ever. 
Like, this is, like, the kind of guy that you would walk, like, if he looked at you, you would start walking a different way. Um, we take care of Ajo hostage. Make him, <laughs> force him to spill his secrets. Um, no, you guys are joking. It, that is terrible. It's beautiful. <laughs> Acrylic feels cheap. Uh, it feels like, yeah, it feels sticky. Like, it feels like, it kind of does feel like tempera. Like where there's like, there's like a thickness to the paint. Have you guys ever used kids tempera paint? Kids tempera paint feels like kind of similar. Okay, well then, I take it back, Danny. He's a beautiful young man. I take it back. But then I got into, um, I got into 3D printing and then this is what, so this is what like, this is a lot better. This looks a lot better, I think. This is 3D, this is a 3D printed head. <laughs> I've seen guys that like that, no need to. <laughs> okay, I take it back. I didn't know anyone looked like this. I didn't know anyone. No one looks like this. Let's be honest. No one looks like this. The proportions are off. His neck is two inches. But if this is how you look, honestly, it's kind of how I look a little bit, slightly. On, on like a, on, a, on an off day. Yeah, I'd walk away from, uh, no, I, I'd, I'd give him a chance. I'd say, I'd say what's up. I'd see if he's feeling all right, at the very least. Um, the only, th okay, this is kind of be difficult because now when I layer it's like thickness on top and I can't make it look like, man, this is difficult. This is really hard. Just, just ask me if you're feeling all right. Hey, dude, are you are you are you feeling all right, man? You feeling okay? That is the kind of stuff I would do um, when I was like trying to get back, like trying to improve my social skills a, a while ago. I probably was doing stuff like that. Like, hey, man, are you feeling all right? All right. See you, Danny. I appreciate you for stopping by, man. It's, it's always good to see you. Always good to see you in the stream. Your life must be your life must be really hard looking like that. That's a shame. Okay, I take it back. He's a, he's a very handsome man that deserves all the love in the world. He, he's not ugly. I don't even know why I I, I even began to say that. Okay, this painting's not looking terrible, I think. Have you guys ever played that game? Um, I forgot what it's called. The one where you like sell, you like live like art, you live like an like artist. It might just be called Artist Simulator. But that game is kind of like, in, um, not what inspired my life, but, or I just, I just imagine like, what if I could really do that for a living? That would be kind of cool. Like if you could just like make paintings and then like go to shows and try to sell them. But that takes, I think that takes a special kind of person that I don't know if I, I think, I, I think I'm there yet. I think I'm there. Because I think I, I have personal paintings that I would never sell. Um, but then I have paintings like this, like where it's really just like practice. And if someone asked me to take, if someone asked me to buy this, if someone asked me to sell this to them, I definitely would. Because I have no attachment to it and I think it's just practice for bigger and better things. And you know what? I also have something to apologize for. Um, a couple streams ago, we were making fun of um, Daniel from the, the ads. We were making fun of the, the young man, Daniel, um, that was teaching us how to do the art, whatever. You guys know the, the, the blonde young man that does um, that says, hey, I'm Daniel, I'm gonna teach you how to paint. I was making fun of him, or I think we were, but I take it all back because his paintings actually are really good. No joke, his paintings are actually really good. And trying acrylic and trying like 
uh, this different side of art. Yeah, I take it back. I, <laughs> I take it all back. I take it all back. Because his art actually is really good. No, I'm not even going to sit here and try to make fun of him. That was all coming from a place of jealousy. That was all coming from my, uh, my, my immature man mind. My, um, what's it called? My, uh, my, my shadow self. He makes full videos? I didn't know that. <clears throat> Are they good? I don't watch any of the big, um, literally when I need a nap, I play hit videos in the background. Okay, cool. Okay, I might have to watch Daniel. I might, I might have to check him out for real. I don't watch any of the big art YouTubers because I feel like it's like, I don't know. I feel like it's not going to help me out in my mind. I do like Ray Dizzle, no joke. Ray Dizzle does actually, even though she makes like those T-Move videos and stuff and like the, I don't know, some of, my, some of her videos slap. I like, I like Ray Dizzle. Also, I feel like she can do whatever she wants because I think she's been doing this for a long time. So she can do whatever she wants on YouTube. Oh, okay. So you mean like um, the ad? <laughs> you just rewatch the ad? You just rewatch the ad over and over again? That's really cool. I, I always thought that would be a cool thing to do, to, to be to be trained by someone, to be someone's protege. That would be a beautiful thing. I think that's really cool in like, um, in any man's life, I think that's a cool thing, like um, to have like a master that you respect greatly. I think that'd be really cool. I, I almost feel like we definitely need, we need more of that in the world. But like this is the old guy I respect and he showed me how to do like my life. I'm looking for that. If any of you guys are old dudes that have life figured out, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. But that would be cool. I think that is a cool idea of having like a, um, like not a master, but just having like a guy that knows what he's done, knows knows what he's doing, and knows what he what he. What am I even saying? Like having a mentor is really cool. I'm not kidding, Christina. <laughs> What is this like a joke? I, I need that. I need that. I need that. I, I, I absolutely need to find like some, some mentor. I don't know where you even find a mentor. Like, I don't know. Maybe like, I don't know. I don't know where you would even find one. I don't know. I have no clue. Because I don't, I've never seen anyone that lives like the the life I want to live. Well, that's not true. Maybe I can't think of anyone. I can't think of too many people that live the life that I want to live. But I guess because those people aren't really in like the popular media, so they wouldn't, they I wouldn't find them because they're doing their own thing. Okay, I do kind of like that you can like um, kind of swirl stuff up and make it like fade a little bit. I do like that, or like dry brush it out. Okay, what should we do now? We've been on this for almost an hour and a half. And I feel like the biggest issue that I can fix right now is maybe the value of the water. We could change that right now. I also don't like, um, not to be negative, but like, I think I need to start painting on um, wood. Cause I'm not a huge fan of this like 
manufactured canvas texture. I think it looks a little like, not stupid, but I don't think I like it very much. I would, I'm, I much prefer like smooth, like flat paper. I like, that's one of the things I really like about painting on, um, painting with gouache. Cause I can get so like flat and everything look, kind of looks like a, like a poster, like a, just, just more flat. I like that better. Let's see how we can. So this is super light. The real in the real painting, the value is super super light. Is that too light? Yeah, it's a little too light. Uh, when I was little, when I was like eight, I had two private classes from this super weird artist. I remember his house was really dark, and he would offer me smoothies. Okay, okay. Okay, let me finish. Uh, when I was like eight, I had two private classes from this super weird artist. I remember his house was really dark and he would give, he would offer me smoothies. He just wanted to make, he would just wanted me to make boring dimensional drawings. Honestly though, if you would have stayed with that dude, you probably would have been Daniel right now. You would, you would have, you would have been Daniel. That probably was Daniel's, um, that probably was Daniel's master, not master, his, his mentor. Literally the first day he offered me this disgusting spinach smoothie, I was like, bro, how can I say no? That's, you, yeah, all of that, but you could have been Daniel right now. I'm sure, I'm sure Daniel had to put up with a few. <laughs> I'm sure Daniel had to put up with a, uh, with a few spinach, with a few spinach smoothies in, in his day. It's all part of the game. No, it's just being that specific Daniel. That specific, very talented Daniel that makes amazing art. Okay, hold on. Just hold on just a second. Yeah, if you would have just taken a couple of those spinach smoothies, you would have been here. You, you, you'd you have been right there with Daniel. I never had any, um, I don't think I've ever had like a tutor or like a art teacher. Or I've had art teachers, but like, yeah, I never really had that. I never really, or like a piano teacher. I never really had that, that kind of person in my life. The closest I ever had to something like that was um, my Chinese teacher back in eighth grade. Eighth grade through like high school, we kind of had that like sort of uh, situation where I definitely had a lot of respect for her, but I don't think I've, re I've not really had that kind of like one-on-one -on -one mentorship thing. I would love to though. I feel like that'd be great for mine. Actually, that's not true. I did do a mentorship during college, um, like a, maybe last year, two years ago, maybe, but it was really weird. It was strange. It was like... I would just go into this, uh, it was basically just like me shadowing like a, a business owner. Um, and he just like, I just asked him questions for like an hour. Every, like once a month, I would ask him questions for an hour. And then we'd walk around his business and he would show me off how much stuff he has. And it was cool, but at the same time it was like, I don't really want this life. But I guess that was great because it just showed me I didn't really want that life, that kind of lifestyle. I'm gonna add some more gesso. See, so yeah, it was cool, but um, celery, no, but spinach, yes. Honestly, though, I think James Green was just born with like a um, a different kind of thing in his mind. I think some people are savants, and they just they just have something in their mind before they even. Uh, just, I don't know. I think some people are savants. Are you guys familiar with um, 
Marcus Rothkans, Marcus Rothkrans. He's he is a he's a guy on YouTube that made like movies and stuff back in the day, and um, he has some. It's crazy. I think he's also a savant. He has some paintings, and he literally was talking about like he did. He didn't even care anything about painting. He just did it because he he was able to, and then he like just stopped doing it. Um, if you look up Marcus Rothkrans and then look up, he has a video called like Who Am I. Uh, he basically just goes to, like his life story and like why he's rich and like why he's uh, why he has what he wants right now, but it's just crazy. Like I feel like he just has a a different sort of I don't know. I think like he maybe he just had like a different set of expectations for himself when he was younger. But he was he's very good at painting, but he doesn't paint now, which is crazy. <laughs> It's actually weird. It's kind of a weird, like, dichotomy. He's absolutely so good at painting. And his old paintings are, like, tremendous. But he doesn't paint at all now. He makes, he makes, uh, he films stuff and he is a photographer. But I guess, yeah, that's right. That's the right reason to not paint is if you don't want to do it. It would be, it would be weird if he didn't like painting. He just kept doing it just because he was able to. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it would be like if you're like those all those people that are like seven foot tall but they don't play basketball. Um, Rothkranz, R O T H K R A N Z. He also has a lot of health stuff. So if you're not if you're not um, prepared to like be gently yelled at about health, then probably don't watch it. But I like his health stuff too. But um, you got to look up like the, the Who Am I video. Because this guy, I think this guy's a savant. Like literally all creative, all creative things he's literally so good at. Okay, I don't know how much longer I'm going to stay on here. We're on, we've been going for an hour and 38 minutes. That's probably the longest I've gone. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? That's his, the hairstyle's his choice, but guess, guess, how, guess, how, guess how old he is. You'll probably never guess how old the guy is. He's 60 years old. Would you ever believe that? So like him and James Gurney are like close in. Uh, uh, how old is James Gurney? I have no clue. But he's the guy's sixty years old. Yeah, sixty years old. I think he's sixty right now. It's crazy. But that's where he talks about his like all his. Um, I mean, he is kind of jacked. For 60 years old, he's in pretty good shape. He's in great shape. I think he's in better shape than me, probably. But he's, he's, actually pretty, he's, not, he's not like yelling at you about health stuff, but he's definitely like... I'm sure he would prefer it if everyone was a raw vegan. Okay, we went way off topic of the painting. Um, what can I do now? I think... Honestly, I think if I come back to this tomorrow with a fresh set of eyes, I'll be able to like finish it pretty quickly. I know with gouache I can do that. Like, If I'm really stuck on a painting, um, he does have an amazing perception of light. What do you... Uh, like, is lighting for videos? I think that's what you mean, I'm not sure. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He's a really cool guy. Honestly, if I was going to get a mentor, it'd be, it would be someone like that. Because he seems, even though he's 60 years old, he definitely has a very, like, not a young mindset. Like, not like, 
Oh, you saw his paintings. Yeah, his paintings are super cool. And that was, he was doing those paintings back in like, I think the 80s maybe, what? I don't know. So he's 60 now, so he's probably like 20 something back then. So it's probably the 80s, I guess, 80s, late 80s. But yeah, it's just crazy to see that this dude is so talented and he's, he doesn't really like to paint that much. Oh, oh my goodness. Um, I totally forgot, have you guys ever heard of, um, what are they called? The, the the paintings for like, you know the paintings they did in Star Wars? For the backgrounds of Star Wars, like the, the on-screen things? I don't know what they're called. Those are so cool. Um, he, he, he did those too. Like they would paint, literally paint on a piece of glass and then use it as like a film background. It's hard to explain, but yeah, that's what they, that's what he, he used to do that too, I think. Honestly, you know what I'm thinking? If we did some sort of railing, that would make this a lot less boring. Like if we did like a like a black rail with like little bars right there like this. I think that would make this a lot less boring and a lot more like my art. But we'll save that for later. And probably for tomorrow, honestly, or maybe later because I don't really feel like finishing this right now. I kind of want to watch a movie and um, that Vincent movie sounds kind of good. I don't even know what it's about. I just know it's, it's, it's an oil painting. Maybe we should have asked Danny what that movie's about before I went ahead and said it was a good movie. Okay. Oh, is it actually about Vincent Van Gogh? I thought it was about just, okay. Okay. I might watch that. Okay, I might watch that. Although I'm not the, all that interested in Vincent Van Gogh, but it sounds cool enough. Um, all right, I appreciate you guys for sticking around. That is, what is 103 minutes? An hour and 43 minutes? Okay, that's actually kind of cool. I might, I might watch that. I don't know much about his life. I know that he had some mental illnesses, and I know that he presumably lost an ear. I think that some people say that's fake, though. I'm not sure. I think I'm, I might watch that tonight. Who knows? I appreciate you guys for sticking around. Um, especially, Christine, I know you were here a long time. We saw Danny. We saw Wendy. A couple people stopped by. Um, I know we saw... Oh, Blue stopped by. A lot, honestly, a lot of people stop by. So I'm glad you guys stopped by. Um, I might stream again tomorrow. Maybe we'll finish this up. Maybe not. Um, thank you guys for sticking around. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye, Blue.